Okay, so. The recipe called for this to be done in a food processor. I did not feel like digging out the food processor. So what? I'm just going to do this with my hands. I'm feeling primal. I'm gonna just get right in here after I use a spoon. Uh, this is supposed to sort of just be like Play-Doh because it's just a flour and salt water dough. So I'm hoping. Why, why is it important for the water to be cold? Um, I don't know, actually. I know in pie dough it's it's important, and I, I don't, I, I guess something about the coldness really helps make it flaky. flaky. Yeah, but I, I really don't understand why. Well, um, in the pie dough, you're almost, you're not, you're barely using any water. Yeah. It's all fat. Yeah. And part of the reason why it needs to be cold is so the fat doesn't fall apart. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Right, right. But, but I'm chilling this dough, so I really... Before I start folding in the, the butter, so I, I really... Well, when you make dumpling dough, mm -hmm. you use hot water. Yep. And I think I read somewhere that when you do that, you know, the hot water does something in terms of like activating the glutens or mm -hmm. something like that. Mm -hmm. So maybe you're doing the exact opposite. Sure. I have no experience with dough really, so. Yeah, I'll I'll look this up and then and then just go all. But I'd like to get more experience in dough, so this is fun. This is very much like play dough. You know, when mom, when you make mandu dough, here I'll get you on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she doesn't want to be on camera. But when we make dumpling dough, it uh, you know, it makes it more stretchy, right? When you put the boiling water into the dough, right. it makes it easy to, to roll out and... Uh, that must develop the gluten. Yeah. yeah. For the dumpling dough in particular, you need it to get be stretchy, mm -hmm. right? But I guess, or it could just be that you just need to be cold because you are going to put butter on this and so you don't want it to melt. Yeah. We'll try another batch and do it with hot water. So I'm just going to keep doing this till it's smooth and then divide it into two balls. So you're just going to knead it in the bowl, you're not even going to like... No, because in the food processor it's just until it comes into, forms a ball, so... Mm -hmm. Let's do a little close up here. It is a little sticky. So you've been doing this for, you know, about maybe two minutes. Mm -hmm. How long do you think this will take? That's a good question. Don't know. So, but you want the surface to be smooth, essentially. I do. I, I, I assume so. I mean, I don't have instructions for doing this by hand, so I'm and just so winging it a little. You're going to cut it into two, and then you're going to roll it out? Nope. I'm going to cut it into two, and then I'm going to form them into balls, which mm -hmm. you then slash across into the top, which when you open up that cross, it'll sort of form a square, and then you roll it so that I think mm -hmm. that facilitates rolling it into a square. And are you going to chill it first, or are you going to um, just start rolling out immediately? No, you chill it first. Okay. 